Legends, welcome back to another episode where I test every single vehicle that I can find in Revolt. The vehicle I'm testing today is Evil Weasel. Alrighty. Now, um, it reminds me of that Cartoon Network thing. What is that? I am Weasel! <laughs> Sorry, I just had to do that. Okay, so it's an electric class vehicle. Um, advanced, advanced rating. Okay, so hey, we're switching over to some advanced class now so the previous class that we raced in was amateur and now we're going over to advanced but look at the specs this seems to be worse but except for the speed the speed seems to be much better so that's quite a difference in acceleration uh, for a little bit of speed will it really make that bit of big of a difference sorry my tongue twisting a little bit um, yeah let's find out and stack it up against the rest of the vehicles. Some interesting audio glitching going on there. It's probably due to all of the glow vehicles. The sound engine struggles to keep up. So this is Junior RC mode, as you can see, and it off the bat, it actually feels very similar to um, just waiting for Panga TC to get a little bit of a, a head start, so I can whack him with this. There we are. Nice. Ooh. He swung back. Oh boy. Okay. So what I wanted to say is it feels a lot like RC Bandit. Just a little bit of a heavier version. Not sure. It does feel a little bit quicker than RC band, but I'm not too sure actually. Maybe it's not not even that quick. Um, all right. Let's see. We'll just keep it straight. Okay. There we go. We're all right. But yeah, it does feel heavy on the steering. Certainly no power steering here. Ha 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 ha. Definitely power steering and actuators, you know? <laughs> Alrighty. Hey, and we're in the lead. That's awesome. Okay. Lap number two. Let's see what we can do. Ho, ho, ho. Alrighty. Yeah, it actually handles quite well. If you can let off the gas a little, it doesn't, you know, freak out. It does feel a little bit more stable than RC Bandit, I must say. It's definitely more stable than, than Mouse. Um, yeah, Mouse was a little bit crazy in simulation mode, but we'll see how this one handles in simulation mode. Right. Ah, I forgot to use the speed boost there. I'll probably just use it over here. You can get a glimpse of that simulation mode performance. Okay. Hey, and we got another speed boost. Alright. That's pretty good. So for an advanced, you know, class vehicle, I'm not too sure if it's, you know, if the hype is exactly... Maybe it's overhyped to a degree, because it's not that quick, you know. But it's pretty well balanced. I'm quite surprised actually that like it, it does well. It just turns, it doesn't turn as well as you'd expect, but there it does. So, yeah. I don't know, I, I can't really decide if I like this vehicle or not. There's just something about it that I I don't like. Then again, there's something about it that I find quite nice. Four-wheel drive as well. That's pretty cool. I don't think we'll get a hit on NY54. Oh, 
right. And celebrate. Here we are. Okay, we put down a 3. 53.768. So, is it the fastest? No, no, it's not. Candy Pebbles is still faster. <laughs> That's actually quite funny. And uh, Aquasonic is certainly the fastest still. So let's see how it does in simulation mode. Comment your thoughts below on this vehicle if you like it or not. Help me decide. Do we like it? Don't we like it? Let's see simulation mode. You know, it's actually... Okay, I see now. It doesn't seem like it... Ooh. It does seem to freak out a little when you let off the accelerator and it sort of unravel, unravel, unravels. I'm struggling to speak, so sorry. Oh boy. No, man. Come on. Oh, I'm getting all of these oil slicks. Maybe there's something wrong with this vehicle. <laughs> good but it's the open wheels make it a little tricky to control especially when it touches other objects and it's like a more of but hmm. you know if you like technical driving this thing is actually not bad once you get the hang of it I mean it's quite an, it's really quite a quick electric vehicle But it is heavy for some reason. You can do you you you, you do feel it, and it somehow doesn't grip that well. Okay. Go. We might be able to get a shot at R6 Turbo. Let's see. Nah. <laughs> we did. <laughs> uh uh. Not cool. Whatever that was. So when you let off the accelerator then it does that, like especially when you're turning, like you just have to kind of figure out how that mechanic works. <laughs> Skids quite a bit, you know. I mean it's not slow. That was pretty quick. Ah. Couldn't handle the G-force there. There's NY. Here's a bull bearing for R6. Not sure if we hit him. We probably did, it seemed like it slowed down. Oh boy, NY is not happy. Well, R6 is actually catching up. We need to focus. And we... Oh boy. Yo, we almost lost it there. <laughs> Yo. Okay, it's a 3... 3, 9... No, sorry, I got confused now. It's a 3... Three, four, point four, seven, zero. Okay, nice. That's actually not bad at all, hey. Wait a second. Okay, now I almost got wet. No, I almost got excited. Now I thought it was the fastest vehicle, but funny enough, Candy Pebbles still 
takes the cake for some reason in simulation mode. Can you believe it? Why not? Alrighty guys, like the video if you liked it, subscribe to this channel if you want to support it, that would be amazing. Comment your thoughts below on this vehicle and what do you like about it, what don't you like about it. And um, yeah, comment which vehicle has been your favorite so far. Um, or thus far, maybe a correct grammar has that. Alrighty, thanks guys, thanks for watching, see you in the next video, peace.